Hello, my name is Russ Merrick. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, storage facility of the Merrick Auto Museum. Today we have for you, uh, we've got a, a 1988 and a half Lamborghini Countach. Uh, gorgeous little car. Uh, last year, just before they went to the anniversary edition. We've actually got a set of auto dollies under here. Hopefully get a good shot of that. We've actually got a set of 12 inch auto dollies, which are just a little too small, gang. We really need the 16 inch, because these babies, there's plenty of meat on these girls. Anyway, I've got a uh, set of casters on here. These are standard casters. So I've actually jacked up the car, one under this side, the opposite side, and the front as well. What's the advantage of having a set of auto dollies? You're in your garage, you're trying to make one room, tuck your car up against the wall nice and tight. Make it nice and easy to tuck it up against the wall and uh, stop the kids from bringing it, dinging it up with the uh, bicycles and tricycles and everything else that they have, or your lawnmower, or your wife's car for that matter. These are generally your pride and joy, gentlemen, so take care of them. When you're ready to work on a car, you're trying to do body work on something, pull them out from the garage, get them in the open. Whether it's in a, a, a shop where you're actually trying to do mechanic work, because it's an abandoned vehicle or a dead vehicle, uh, the tires are all flat, dynamite thing to have. So on this little girl, I've actually got a little bit of help here. What I want to do is take my knee and put it against the, uh, the tire. Hopefully you get a good shot of that. And if I push against the tire, let's go here, there we go. It gives me more leverage. Typically you want to push down on a car, and that's not the case in order to get the car dollies running. So it's always a great idea to have a little bit of extra help, two people pushing, maybe sometimes three. Depends on how tight your, your space is. The extra eyes to see what's going on the opposite end of the car from where you're at. Matt, I'm going to go ahead and have you push, push your side out just a little bit more. There you go. Keep pushing. Okay, and I'm going to take my end. I'm going to kick it back just for fun. Go ahead and stop right where you're at, Matt. This is the heavy end, guys. This is a V12. One of those gorgeous mid-engine cars. Okay, Matt, come on up here. Let's take a quick gander. We're actually going to go forward here real quick, guys. Once again, I'm pushing on the tire. We're going to come back here. We're pushing on the bumper. And we're going to aim this baby. It's probably far enough. So I kind of spun the back end a little bit. We went forward. Now we're going to go back again. It makes a big difference trying to push from the vantage point of your knees. Okay, let's go ahead and tuck it sideways, Matt. Come around this side. So we're going to take this baby and push it, push it back here just ever so much. There we go. Let's tuck it right up against that uh, Ford. Once again, these are the auto dollies. Looks like we're right there, Matt. Great product, built by uh, Merrick Machine Company. It's part of the uh, Merrick Originals. 12 inch quarter inch steel plate, 12 inches across. We make them an 8 inch and 16 inch. The 16 inch are a little bit wider. So 12 inch works ideal on this car, and 16 inch actually looks better and sexier on the back end of the car, especially for a Countach or some of your big muscle American cars. If you have any questions, go to theautodolly.com. That's our website. You can look up some of our dealers as far as uh, where you can actually buy these, or you can call the factory at 1 800. 568-7423, and we can help direct you. Once again, my name is Russ Merrick, and I'd like to thank you for your time.